you know, all of us have suffered injuries. And when you have an injury, it throws your whole life into chaos. You were going along one way and all of a sudden something happens and now your life's been changed dramatically. And it has an impact on you. And so getting those patients in quickly, trying to talk to them about how this can be dealt with, and trying to help them get back into their normal lifestyle as soon as possible is something that uh, they really appreciate. In our group, it was always um, trying to get the patient to be part of the process. In other words, we wouldn't just tell people what to do. We would explain what their options were and want them to be part of the decision-making process. So it was their body, it was their life, and so we want to just help them make the, uh, the best decision for them. And so we tried to educate them along those lines. We need to understand what they've been through and what they are going through and not try to just dismiss them as, as people who are, are trying to get something out of you, but the people whose lives have been impacted by their disease process. And your part in that is to try and help them through that and help them get back to some type of normal lifestyle and normal recovery. Um, and sometimes that's difficult. You know, chronic pain has a horrible impact on people. It impacts their whole life. Um, and it, it takes a toll on them after a while. And so helping people deal with that is an important part of our job. Even though you've been doing it for 25 years, um, there's always, it's not like cookbook medicine, and there's always something different, there's always a new challenge, there's always something that doesn't quite fit. I was always amazed when I did surgery, you would think that the human body would be the same in every person, and it's not. And so every time you go in, you have to treat it the same, very carefully, very diligently, you know, looking at the anatomy as you're going through and not taking anything for granted because everybody's body is just a little bit different, and that can change, you know, what you're doing in surgery. And the same is true in the office. No two disease processes are alike. There are a lot of, they're grouped into certain categories, um, but they're always something that's challenging you and, and uh, making you think through uh, the process and how you can help the patient. I have patients that will come in and nowadays it could be somebody who's been told they went to saw a doctor once and they've been told they need surgery and they come see me as a second opinion. I said, well, did you try this or that? And they go, no. I said, let's try those things and see if we can help you avoid surgery. And oftentimes we can get them better without surgery. And that's very gratifying to keep somebody from having to go through surgery. In this age of medicine, it's hard to um, take time, but I try to see fewer patients in my practice and be able to spend more time with them um, and not be quite as rushed. I'm a little bit different in, in this practice in that uh, right now I'm just an office orthopedist, meaning that I don't operate anymore. That was about four years ago. They asked me to come into the office and just be in the office, so I'm just in the office seeing patients. And I try to run my schedule on time because um, I know patients' time is important, so I don't like to get behind. On the other hand, I like to give patients enough time to get their questions answered, make sure they understand what's going on and what we can do to help them. Since I'm the one who's in the office um, the most, they'll get, they want to get an appointment as soon as possible, so they'll come in and see me. And since I treat all parts of the body from an orthopedic standpoint, um, I can treat their shoulder and get them going and, and find out how serious the problem is. And, and again, I would say between 70 and 80% of the time, most people don't end up needing surgery. And so we can get them better with some physical therapy, some medication, sometimes a cortisone shot, and get them back to what they want and never have to see the surgeon. Um, but if they do have something that needs surgery, I can get them in right away and, and to one of my partners and have them taken care of in an efficient manner.